Hi, second graders, and welcome back to our unit on changing landforms. Today, we are going to be starting chapter three, and we're going to be doing lesson one, which is an introduction to maps. We are going to be doing activities one through three today, but we are going to cut out activity four because we do not have the resources to do that one. Okay, so we explained that water caused tiny pieces of rock to break off of the cliff. But we know a big change happened to the cliff because the flagpole is now closer to the edge. So our chapter three question that we're gonna be focusing on is how did the recreation center's cliff erode without the director noticing? And remember erode means like tiny pieces of rock breaking off. Um, again, so it's not like giant, giant pieces, it's, it's a smaller change. Since we're focusing on big changes to landforms, we'll become familiar with tools geologists often use when they study landform changes, and that tool is a map. So we're going to examine several maps and create our own maps. Maps might even, or maps might help us understand what happened to the recreation center's cliff. Um, so before we go ahead and actually go back to um, our book to look at some maps, I want you guys to think about what you already know about maps and how could maps help us understand what happened to the cliff. So take a second to pause this video and you can answer the question by writing it down in your packet. You can talk to somebody at home or you can just think about the answer in your head. And um, some things that I would say is that maps can help us see how close the flagpole is to the edge of the cliff. Um, and another thing that we could do is if we looked at an old map of the cliff, it could also help us to see um, if the cliff changed from back in the day to now, and if so, by how much. 